Deciding what size projection screen to buy can be daunting, and there is no shortage of opinions out there on how you should go about it. Believe it or not, there's actually a standard that helps us to determine which size screen is ultimately going to be right for us. SMPTE, or the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, recommends that a minimum viewing angle for a movie theater is 30 degrees. This standard, while not official in the home, has been adopted by industry veterans, manufacturers, and installers alike. The 30 degree viewing angle ensures an immersive viewing experience, similar to what you would experience in a commercial theater. Rather than complicate things, we've created a simple table that shows you the distance you should sit from any one of the most common projection screen sizes available on the market today. All of the screen sizes, which are measured diagonally, and their corresponding seating distances ensure that the viewer maintains at least a 30 degree viewing angle, as specified by SMPTE. Based on the seating distance in your own home, you will be able to easily determine which diagonal screen size is going to be right for you using this simple chart. If the screen size you're considering isn't listed on the chart, or you simply prefer to do your own calculations, the CEA, or the Consumer Electronics Association, recommends that your seating position rest three times that of your screen's viewing height. For example, the 100-inch 16 by 9 diagonal screen we think we want to buy has a screen or viewing height of 49 inches. 49 inches times 3 equals 147 inches. Divide that figure by 12, the number of inches in a foot, and you arrive at 12 and a quarter feet. Therefore, placing your seating position roughly 12 feet back from the 100 inch diagonal 16 by 9 screen would result in a 33 degree viewing angle, which is in the ballpark of where you wish to be. As you can see, both our chart and the CEA's method give you similar results. Two other factors in addition to your seating distance that are worth considering when determining what size screen to buy is your projector's light output and throw distance. While you may physically have the space and the seating distance to accommodate a 150 inch diagonal screen comfortably, you'll want to consult your projector's manual or its manufacturer to ensure that it has adequate light output and a compatible throw distance. Throw distance refers to the distance a projector needs to be placed from the screen in order to cover the entire projection surface area with a bright, colorful image. Light output simply refers to the amount of light your projector is capable of producing. This figure is typically listed in ANSI lumens. The higher the number, for example 2000 ANSI lumens, the brighter the projector. Typically the larger the screen the more light one needs. It's always better to have a projector with too much light than it is to have one with too little. Hi, Blake here with Screen Innovations in a real world living room. So real, I actually show up here every night myself. <laughs> yeah, this is my house. You're right, I do have the coolest job in the world. Today we're looking at an Epson 5020. This is a roughly $2,500 retail projector. Also with my Black Diamond Zero Edge, we have a $7,100 system. That's right, a $7,100 manufacturer suggested retail price for a 115-inch image. Now compare that to a flat panel, which would also be more expensive per square inch, and also I'd be seeing glare. Let's talk about a little bit how Black Diamond is actually working in this environment. To my right, we've actually got open windows. Now this isn't direct sunlight, this is ambient light coming through the windows. We've also got can lights in the ceiling and the ceiling fan light. So what's happening is the ambient light rejection ability of the black diamond is rejecting the ambient light that's coming in at this angle from above, from below, and from the left and the right. It's not allowing this bad light to pollute the image. We're only reflecting the light back from the direction of the projector back to the viewer. So all this extra light is not making it past what we call our optical filters. So perfect image in a very bright room with two-piece projection that's probably your first objection. I have to sit in a dark room. I have to paint it black. No, you don't. So now the objection is overcome. We don't have to have a dark bat cave to work in. This is my living room. This is a real world environment. This is my television. Black Diamond Zero Edge with any of the leading projectors out there it can give you this type of image for as little as, in this case, $7,100. That's amazing. Why don't you have it? There's no better way to complement your projector than to add an Optima projector screen. Optima screens are a rare blend of quality, practicality and affordability. Easy installation, 
and after sturdy construction means many years of trouble for use. Optimus screens are packed with useful features such as the controlled retract system on our pull down screens along with quick fit wall brackets for fast installation. Our electric screens use tubular motors for quiet operation and all screens have high gain materials to enhance your projector output. The Optima range covers small portables, pull-ups, manual pull-downs and electric screens. With sizes from 32 inch up to 120 inch, there's an Optima screen to fit your space.